This is a flange seam that we have to do. This is a sample that we're practicing with. Um, this piece here has had a quarter inch flange turned in it, and then it's set down on top of the end of a piece of board. We use the eighth inch punch to punch that into the board just to make a slight depression. That makes sure that when we go to clamp this, that these two are contacting uh, where we want them. Uh, what we're using to clamp these with, I've got a modified pair of vice grips. Um, we put a half inch bolt right here that's been wrapped in copper and this will go up and hold the corner nice and tight. The sleeve here, we made that for a 3L TIG cup. Uh, that gives a nice tight circle around it to give you a little dimple just like that. So we found that the number four is hard to um, keep from burning the edge. So we next size down and we're gonna do another test sample here. The center of the sleeve is aligned with the ha hammer punch, the punch mark underneath. Make sure that's in nice and snug there. And we're going to do another test weld here. And you can hear this bottom out. That makes sure that we're down tight to keep the heat in on the quarter inch flange. And we're going to go for about six seconds at 65 amps. Slag on that one, but it's still a nice, nice dimple there. Heat on the back side. And looks like it's nice and tight. So that's the cast Norwalkie version of doing a spot weld with the TIG. We just kind of sized it down uh, for doing a quarter inch flange here. I'm sorry about the um, camera operation here. It doesn't seem to want to focus on me very well. So there we go.